welcome again this morning on glorious morning shower this is the day the lord has made we will rejoice and we will be glad in it father we thank you for waking us up again this morning to behold the beauty of another day thank you jesus it is the lord's doing and it is always marvelous in our sight thank you lord in Jesus' name. Welcome again to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. Every day is the day the Lord made. The day you connect is yours. And today is that day. Congratulations. The word for your shower today is rejoice in the Lord always. Scripture for your shower is Philippians chapter 4 from verse 4 to 8. Say rejoice in the Lord always and I say again rejoice. Our point today is Always. Always. That is what God wants to emphasize to you this morning. And when the Lord said always, it means in every situation, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. The opposite of joy is what? Sorrow. Whether in a painful situation, God said, I should tell you this morning, rejoice in the Lord. And that's how your day is going to be. Going ahead, rejoicing in the Lord. Good, rejoice. Bad, rejoice. Worse, rejoice. There are many of you out there going through some temptations. That you think God may have forgotten you. The Lord said, when you begin to rejoice, you will see the hand of God in that situation. The book of James chapter 1 from verse 2 to 3 say, it say, Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation, knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Count it all joy, all joy, all joy, not some joy. Why is God always emphasizing on it, even from time immemorial to now? Because the system of man is fashioned in such a way that he is tempted to only rejoice at a certain time. But the system of man is different from the system of the spirit. The system of your flesh is different from the system of your spirit. And that is why it's good for you to allow your spirit to always dominate your life. So that the devil don't use your flesh to rob you of your joy. Man is always tempted to only get happy when he gets what he wants. So, and the system is created in such a way that he gets sorrowful when he is disappointed. But God is telling us the opposite. He said, even when you are disappointed, thank God. Thank God. It is not everyone you see on the surface of this earth that met their expectation for the year 2022. Many don't even have what to eat now, between now and end of this year, to even talk of buying new clothes. You have gotten new clothes. You have food. But you are saying you don't have money or flight tickets. 
to fly down to your destination. That is your worry. That is the reason the devil is telling you God is not good to you. So when you meet the one on the road begging for food, what do you not tell God? That is what God is saying in every situation. I'm telling you, there are many people flying up and down now that don't have the kind of joy that those who don't even have, have. who don't have food, they have joy. So you are going to rejoice in that little. And you will see the miraculous hand of God. Say, rejoice in the Lord always. Don't forget Habakkuk chapter 3. Verse 16. He said, even though the tree did not blossom, even though my vine did not yield good fruit, he said, yet I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. It's a confession of faith. So I would like you to keep telling yourself all through today. I will rejoice in the Lord God. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He make my feet like hands feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Is our confession of faith in the source. And I know that word did not come by mere physical feeling. It is a confession that came out of deep relationship with God. I never knew such word was in the Bible before. Until my father in the Lord brought it up as our confession in faith. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my... Who is talking? That is the man that just loves somebody this morning that is talking. That is the man that is, they are preparing for very outside. That is the man that doesn't even know what to eat after now. And you are there talking about you. You've not met your target. Please make today that day that you will rejoice in the Lord always and you see the devil packing all this load and leave you in Jesus mighty name that's your word for your shower today I'm sure you've had, had a nice bath already your day is going to be glorious and you'll return back with testimonies in Jesus name